I noticed an increase in tremors. It came on so rapidly and it was so debilitating. Getting up one morning and not being able to drink my coffee, I had to use a straw. There's a circuit in the brain that is responsible for producing the tremors and that circuit goes from the cerebellum in the back of the brain to the motor cortex up at the top and from there it comes out in the muscles. I first met Tom as part of our multidisciplinary fast track movement disorders clinic. That's a clinic in which patients who have movement disorders are able to come to the hospital and meet with a variety of specialists. When I found out about a possible cure, that was, that was a, an, something I didn't think was ever going to happen. I thought the quality of life that I had was as good as it was going to get, and it was getting worse, and it was going to get worse. I think Tom ultimately decided on focused ultrasound because it is a non-invasive procedure. It's a procedure that provides immediate benefit uh, for patients with their symptoms. Even though we don't have to make a skin incision to put anything into the brain or to expose the brain, we still need to do some preparation to allow that energy to get in most efficiently and most accurately. That includes a complete hair shave and it includes putting your head into a stereotactic frame so that we can deliver the energy with millimeter precision. During a focused ultrasound procedure, the patient will be in the MRI scanner. We do the procedure with the patient awake. We will deliver energy in increasing increments of strength and assess the patient between each little burst of energy to see how they're doing. They would come in quite frequently and make sure that I was comfortable make sure that I had no uh, ill side effects, no pain, which I did not. We test their language, we test their ability to move each of their arms, and we test a finer motor skill of drawing a spiral or drawing a straight line. This is something we test ahead of time so we have a sense of the patient's baseline, how much the tremor is affecting their ability to perform these tasks. I could actually feel the tremors going away on my right side. And that was pretty exciting. And at the end of the procedure, his tremor was gone. He didn't have any side effects. And uh, he was in the observation area for a period of uh, one or two hours. 99% better. Yeah, oh my gosh, you have no clue. And then we got a final MRI and then he was able to go home. It's been a wonderful experience all the way through. The doctors, the technicians, and the results were phenomenal, so I'm happy. Tom tells me that since the procedure, his life has completely changed. He feels like he's able to do things that he hasn't been able to do for years, and that's given him a whole new joy and perspective on his life. But I find myself being able to do the day-to-day -day activities so much easier, and I'm so much more relaxed doing it, that I'm comfortable picking up a glass, eating soup. I'm not embarrassed to reach for something, pour a glass of wine. I feel comfortable with my balance, whereas before it was quite a chore. I think Tom's case really illustrates that we now have phenomenal treatment options for patients who have not only essential tremor, but other movement disorders as well. When I was not able to do some of the things that I thought I should be able to do, that I, I think I went into a mild depression. You know, all this emotion that's coming out, is, is that going away? Uh, their expertise uh, to help people like me. So I'm, I'm very excited about what's happened and very appreciative. Through a non-invasive treatment, we can improve a patient's symptoms and completely change their life. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back on the golf course a lot and sailing and fly fishing. So I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get back into everything. Cheers. 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 Cheers.